Hello fam today we are going to make a simple nap bar without using flexbox. Let's start and learn. Press shift plus one and hit enter to get the HTML boilerplate. Now between the title tag enter the title according to requirement of your project. Then following the opening body tag. Make a NAV tag. And inside of it add all tag which stand for unordered list. And inside of all add li which represents list items. Home. About US. Contact us. Privacy policy. And services. Now I am not creating a separate style.css file for good understanding. If you want, you can make a separate CSS file. To remove by default margin and padding use this technique, this has become a very popular technique lately, and for good reason. It removes all default margin and padding for every object on the page. Now we target the body tag to add the background image. If you want the entire page to have a background image, you must specify the background image on the body element. To add a background image in the background use in background image property and in the URL enter the path of in specific image. If you want the background image to cover the entire element, you can set the background size property to cover. If the background image is smaller than the element, the image will repeat itself horizontally and vertically until it reaches the end of the element. To avoid the background image from repeating itself, set the background repeat property to no repeat. Now set the width 100% and height to 100 viewport height. To set the background image to center use the background position center property. Now we target the nav element, which is first child of body element. Set the background color to black or according to your choice. Or if you want to change the text color to black, which is black by default, use the color property and set the color. Set the height to 55 pixel and decrease the opacity to look transparent. Now we target the unordered list, which is inside the nav element. The list style type specifies the type of list item marker in a list. If you want to remove, you can set the style property to none.
Now we target the list items of unordered lists. Set the display to inline block. Padding to 16 pixels. Font size large. Text transform capitalize. The flow property specifies whether an element should float to the left, right, or not at all. Absolutely positioned elements ignore the float property. Create a button using the button tag. Give it a padding to 10 pixels which is top and bottom and 20 pixels is left and right. 6 pixel margin from top. The position property specifies the type of positioning method used for an element static, relative, absolute, fixed, or sticky. Set the button background color according to your requirement. Give it a border radius and color white. Set the border none and outline none to remove the by default border or outline. Thank you for watching.